In this video, I'll demonstrate how to rip music from audio CDs and add them to your library using Windows Media Player 10. First, make sure you have an audio disc inside of your CD-ROM tray. Once it's in there, we can open up Windows Media Player. That's done by clicking in the Start menu, selecting All Programs, and then selecting Windows Media Player. Once Windows Media Player is open, we want to be in the RIP section. And we do that by clicking on the RIP tab near the top. As you can see, it has all the information for my album currently in my CD-ROM, including artist, title, as well as genre. If for some reason this information is not filled in, if you clicked on the Find Album Info button on the top right, it will actually connect to the internet and find information about this album. Once it's been verified, go ahead and click on Finish, and it will update the information for you. As you can see, this album has 17 tracks. With Windows Media Player 10, you could be specific about how many tracks you like to rip. You can choose from one song to the whole album. Once you've taken the few songs that you want, go ahead and highlight them, check them off, and then click on the Rip Music button on the top right. This will begin the ripping process. Windows Media Player automatically saves it to the My Music folder by default. That can be changed by going up to Tools, Options, then under the Rip Music tab, you can specify location, media format, as well as quality. As you can see, it's been ripped to my library. Go ahead and click on the Library tab on the top left to verify, and you can see it's in there. This is how you rip music from audio CDs using Windows Media Player 10.